After debuting as a holiday series, the acclaimed comedy The Moody's is back, centering on the fun but slightly dysfunctional family, with Elizabeth Perkins starring as the family matriarch. I have a meeting with Grace. Really? Guys, can we just take a moment here and just grasp the magnitude of this game? Okay, we haven't hoisted the cup in, in 14 years. Well, it is a hockey game, huh? Perspective. Just Perspective? Ouch! Perspective is for losers. Right. Okay, he's here. Everyone out, please. I haven't finished my yeah. breakfast and we haven't talked about your Clark Kent glasses. What the hell? Who are you guys? No, every, get the hell out. What? She's got to find a phone booth. She's got a city to save. Just go. Bye. Okay. No, I can't wear them. And Elizabeth is here with me now. Elizabeth, good to see you. How are you? I'm very good. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Listen, so the first season was set around Christmas. So where do things pick up this year for the family? Well, uh, last year was very much sort of an event show. Like, yeah, just going to be a Christmas thing. And then we got a call from Fox saying we would really love to, to do this as a, as a regular show. Yes, we start with an event, which I can't really give away yet. Um, but the first episode, there will be an event. And we kind of, the family moves through that throughout the entire season. But what we explore this year is, is more the relationships between the members of the family. We explore Dennis Leary and my long-term marriage. There's the brother relationship, the father-son relationship, and how everybody is sort of at odds with each other. As an empty nester myself, we have four children. There's always that sort of dichotomy of, I miss my kids so much. And then when they do come home, within a few days, you're, you're just really over them. <laughs> we do sort of explore that in terms of, you know, what that's like, not only what it's like for the parents, but what it's like for the children. Also this year, she, She's decided that she's going to go back to school and she gets her master's degree in psychology. And what I love about what the creators did was I pitched them this idea about my mom, who after raising three children decided I'm going to go back to school, I'm going to get a degree. And she became an alcohol and drug rehabilitation counselor. And I thought it was a great way for Anne to kind of, you know, find her older self and, yeah. and have these new experiences. And she sort of realizes that she's a feminist. Yeah, I feel like at the core of the show, it's a comedy, but I don't you feel like there's something important about telling that story about a woman in, in this part of her life. I'm 60 and we don't get to see a lot of 60 year old women depicted that way that that you know they're having new experiences that they're out discovering themselves that they're sexually active you know we don't see a lot of that i'm this vibrant interesting woman who's out there in the world having new experiences and seeing things differently and i was really pleased that the creators you know did this with Anne. well you also started in truth be told and it's a dark crime thriller which is you know a little bit of a twist for you uh what drew you to that project Definitely the opportunity to work with Octavia Spencer and Aaron Paul, Lizzie Kaplan, but a very dark piece. You know, Aaron, he's in prison for a murder he didn't commit. Um, and Octavia is sort of the detective who's opening up the case. And then I did Sharp Objects, which was also a very yeah. dark piece. So when Moody's came along, I was like, oh, it's a comedy. Thank yes. you. <laughs> and also during a time where I think, you know, our nation and the world is just everything's been feeling really hard and dark yeah. and such political upheaval. It just felt really nice to be working on something that offers a little levity, offers yeah. a little humor, offers some comfort. There's so much love there. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's one of the things I loved about the relationship with Dennis Leary and myself is that we fight all the time. Yeah. <laughs> but there's such love there that you actually can fight all the time. Right. It's like it's a threat to the marriage that we're yeah. It's just know. part of the marriage. It's part of the marriage. We got to talk about weeds because <laughs> I love that show so much. And you are so amazing on that show. But they're talking about, you know, a sequel, which I'm curious why everywhere you look at it, it says sequel and not reboot. But a reboot, right. Yeah. I, I've only read a few things about it. Nobody's approached me about a reboot. I'm not really sure if it's still happening. Yeah. Um, Would you like to see it come back? I loved being on that show. I mean, I, the chance to play someone like Celia Hodes, who's just humorously psychopathic, 
It just doesn't happen that often. Listen, if we can't catch you on Weeds anytime soon, we certainly can catch you on the Moody's. It's Thursday at 9.30 p.m. on Fox. Elizabeth, thank you so much for taking the time. It was a pleasure. Thank you. I appreciate it.